So this is the Super Nintendo version of the game, but with the um, the Super Nintendo version never came out in in English. Um, and this is the Super Nintendo version, but with the uh, official Game Boy Advance version translation. So it's not a fan translation. They took the translation from the GBA release and put it over uh, the Super Nintendo game. Let's, let's set this into a rock. Ah, Yoshitaku Amanu. Yush Yoshitaka Amanu. I sorry I butchered his name. Apparently someone from the like OG Final Fantasy team or like from the first few games said that if they were to take Amano's drawings of the characters literally and base the sprites around those characters, everyone would be incredibly white and have blonde hair. But also apparently the sprites for the first six games exist first, and then Amano does draw like draws his renditions of the sprites. Which I think is interesting. Oh, that's my that's my old game. Let's go over here. Hello? Oh, new game. There it is. Right at the top. There we go. I really love this Final Fantasy, by the way. Last time I played this, I was I was very hooked on this game. Graphically, in my opinion, this also immediately looks better than Final Fantasy IV. Like, this castle is so detailed. Hey, look at that dragon. Father! Do you really have to go? You know I do, dear. I need you to protect the castle. Under no circumstances are you to follow me. Do you understand? That's some quick text. But father... Something is wrong with the wind. King Tycoon is also... Great name. I must go to the wind shrine to make certain nothing's changed. Yes, I've noticed it as well. But to go alone is... Don't worry, I'll be fine. Have faith. Hey, talk very fast. I want to give this, like... I want to try my best to, like... Play up the emotions, but the text scrolls so fast. Five is probably the most underrated in the series. I think that's because it took so long for this game to reach the West. I would actually say that 3 is more underrated, but I could see that people would make an argument for both. Mm. Mm. I love that when the screen scrolls, all of the sprites of the characters is just bounce. Going, 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 going. The wind just... Stopped. Look who it is! I've got to hurry! It's the basis for this guy! The wind stopped. Father. Mainly the face. Like, how do you structure a face in, like, this 16-bit, very limited style? And I just didn't really know how to do it, so... 
I did have him as a reference. What in blazes? Just a nice camping trip. Well, no, actually meteor, right? Now you want to go camping and be struck with a meteor, right? Can't <laughs> catch this. Look at the butt wiggle! Tycoon meteorite. Boko, wait here, okay? Oh, he actually does. Oh, I like the leaves. I like the leafy textures. This guy looks so much like um, the main character from Mystic Quest. Like the hair looks is pretty much identical. Goblins. Also, hey, would you look at that? We finally have a freaking indicator for the active time battle system. When the fuck it's our turn? <laughs> no hidden, my planet. Hey, are you all right? Yes, I believe so. I give you my thanks. My name is Lena, and you are? I'm Bots! Please enter a name. The Frog and Chad. Okay. I, I'll stick with the Frog and Chad. So, this character's name is Bartz. Um, in the first, like, fan translation of this game, that made its round in um in like when the when the Super Nintendo emulation scene just exploded in the mid 90s to late 90s hey thank you so much Jeremiah for gifting yourself to black wizards welcome back black wizards enjoy the frog daddies um when this game first hit the scene in the fan translation in the West, this character's name was translated to Butts. Literally B-U-T-T-S. His name is Bartz. And I'm sticking with that. <laughs> hmm. Business with a comeback. Me? Call me Bartz. Me and my chocobo just go wherever the trail leads us. Bards. Yep. Not bards. Don't call me bards. This rock suddenly fell from the sky. The impact must have knocked me out. Guess it's a meteorite. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you sure? A meteorite. I wonder if it has a connection to the wind stopping. First name Seymour. <laughs> yep. Again, I give you my thanks. I wish I could do something more to show my appreciation, but I really must go. Whoa, hey, hold up a sec. 
Bart, did you hear something? Oh, that was my best. My best, I guess, moan. I, that doesn't sound right. Help me. Hey, look who it is. Over there. There he is. Are you all right? Where am I? Oh, my aching head. <laughs> it's Teller. This is Teller and cool, yeah? Snake's alive. What's happened? I don't remember. Huh? I can't remember anything. Looks like you hit your head pretty bad. Maybe you got amnesia. Classic thing to happen. Oh, something came back to me. My name is Galuf. That's a start. Anything else? Nope, just the name. Other than that, my memory is a blank slate. But yeah, you can definitely see when you see like at the front that he was the my reference for my little pixel character. I think I did a lot of like uh, enough like transformative work. I d did use like several different colors, the hair and body is like more or less completely different. Even like the face is a little different, I think, especially the colors. But yeah, there's only just so much you can do with like a limited pixel palette and I really like this style. And also I really like this character. I'm very sorry, but you must excuse me, I have no time to waste. Where are you going? I must go to the Wind Shrine. The Wind Shrine? Now that you mention it, I'm pretty sure that's where I was headed. It's decided I'm going with you. But... Well, the old guy is going with the young girl. Always, always trustworthy. I can never let such a sweet girl go all by her lonesome. Several red flags, though. A multitude of red flags. Plus, I know I've got to get to that shrine. I feel it in my bones. You've got to take me with. But what about you? Sorry, I'm gonna bow out on this one. Good luck, though. <clears throat> well then, game over. Main character didn't want to go on the quest. Bards, thank you again. Farewell. Godspeed and all that whatnot. <laughs> I feel it in my bone, gotta follow this girl. Oh, this is where you have to go. This, this is what I thought was weird in my first playthrough. The way out of this is covered by leaves. For whatever reason. I mean, you come, you get through there, uh beforehand, but still, it still feels like a weird decision to cover up that specific spot. Come on, Boko. Let's go. Well, the game is over, everyone. We didn't go on the quest. Oh, wait. I guess we will go on the quest. Ow! Boko! Bad, bad chocobo. What are you doing stopping like that? No, don't give me that look. I'm not doing, I'm not doing the Boko lines. Sorry. <laughs> I know, it's just a girl and an old man. And with all those goblins around, oh man, I've seen the first episode of Goblin Slayer that does not end pretty. Or I guess it doesn't start pretty. Fine, I got it, I got it. Ah! Boko, come on! How did they get ahead of us, by the way? Goblin Slayer was surprisingly entertaining. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say. Pretty much that exact combination of words, and I agree. I didn't finish it, uh, though. I just don't really 
I'm not really into watching series. What? <laughs> the panic! I'm not going to spoil... I'm not going to spoil it, Hatcho, don't worry. I guess he can't hear me now, can he? <laughs> How did they get in front of me? I was on the fucking chocobo and I was... ...running... ...as fast as I could. Or I guess Boko was running as fast as he could. Was she? No, I think Boko's a he. I think that becomes... ...like... It, ...that gets revealed later on. Good morning. But... It seems I cannot escape being in your debt. I always say debt. Because whoever put that fucking B in that word is a menace to society. Being in your debt. Hey, don't worry about it. The shockwave from the meteorite's impact caused landslides. The road's covered in rubble. I don't think you're going to be able to make it to Tool that way. But if I can't get to the Wind Shrine, then. Ugh. Wind Shrine! Gotta hurry! The old guy's pretty dead set on getting there, too. He's pretty dead, right? Is it like the last bee in bomb? Yeah, it's it's like not there. It's not at all pronounced. Which come on English language. Alright. I'll go with you and personally see to it that you get there safely. Oh really? Stupid froggery. Yeah, you know, it was my dad's dying wish that I go out and travel the world. Plus, this time it feels like... Like the wind is calling me. What a sweet talker! As if you don't just have the hots for the little missy! What, you're awake? Don't sound so surprised. This old dog is always ready for anything. Oh, didn't like that at all. Still, if the road is blocked, that makes things a sight more difficult. Hmm. I won't give up. There must be a way to reach the Wind Shrine. Right, and we'll find it! Alright, let's ride. What's going on? Talk to me, boys. Don't spoil right away. God damn it. Something happened with Elden Ring. <laughs> wow, well, what the fuck? Do I have to, like... Look at Twitter myself. Stream is paused while streamer looks uh, for immediately immediate disappointment. Don't panic on stream. I already read it. Thanks, Marty. I know I follow you for a reason. Nice. We have a release date. Now we can continue with the game. By the way, let me save. <laughs> also, we can just save. 
Yeah, let's save over the old slot. Why not? Don't panic on stream. I always panic on stream. Ooh. It looks so good. I can't wait to see... Uh, can't wait to, to see what you guys are seeing after the stream. Guess it's taking a couple of days at the end of January. The cool thing is, even if I get my new job, I will be able to take... Oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm barred from taking, like, days off until February. No! Well, we'll see what comes to this. I mean, I probably, I just have to stream that game, right? Even though pretty much everyone will be streaming that game. We'll see what it comes to this. I'm... I'm really looking forward to seeing that trailer after the stream. But I'm not cutting the, the stream short for something like that. That wouldn't be right. Also, I'm also enjoying Final Fantasy V. I don't remember there being a cave here. Probably opened up during one of those quakes. Boko, I think this is gonna be a little too dangerous for Chocobos. You stay here, okay? You stay here with all the landslides! No, don't ditch Boko! Why couldn't Boko be a playable character in the party? Ah, damn it. Steal that! Oh, I love this music so much. I mean, when it comes to, like, a highly anticipated game, like Elden Ring, that is also, like, it's coming from a developer that has so much of a cult following. I'm so sweaty because my apartment is unnecessarily warm. Um, you know that so many people will be streaming at day one that I wonder if I should even stream at day one. I want to play at day one. So I guess I have to, I, I guess I will stream it. Um, but... Like, jumping on the bandwagon and streaming a very popular game day one is always a bit of a... A weird situation as a smaller streamer. What's that spring? Well... Devil crabs! Don't you pince poor Gallop. Freaking devil crabs coming from behind. <laughs> Gallop's weak old man hands are <laughs> not strong enough to penetrate the crabby defenses. Oh nice, some level ups. I feel like this game immediately plays more, like, fluently than Final Fantasy IV, even just in the very basic combat, on a very basic combat level. This is a recovery spring. HP and MP restored. All status aimants removed. Chaos Ellos revived. Sweet. Do it on day one, except if it's a Tuesday or Friday. Why not on a Tuesday or Friday? The music... What's that? A stroper? The music in this dungeon... At least in my opinion, sounds more like Terranigma than... Final Fantasy. You probably will not watch me then. Okay, yeah, that's, that's a good point. This music, like, musical style reminds me very much of Terranigma. 
Ah, immediately pirates. A strolling groper. I don't know how... How much strolling plants do. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's how you get in. It, I mean, it wasn't so complicated. Ooh, a hat! Bart gets a hat. I mean, we definitely have to get to at least two jobs today, right? We cannot start playing Final Fantasy V and not get to the first set of jobs in the first stream. This is what makes this game. The job system in this game is incredibly fantastic. It's Final Fantasy III on steroids. What's that? It's, it's an exit. Bart. That ship just now. How was it sailing with the wind so weak? I love the question marks over the head. Uh, I don't know. Ah, good old piratey music. This is a pirate hideout. Meaning that ship we saw must have been a pirate ship. I wonder if they would give us a ride. Uh, I think the only ride they'd be interested in would be a keelhaul for all three of us. Yeah, you can't ask a favor from a pirate. That's why we'll just sneak on and steal their ship. What? You're pretty gutsy for an old timer. <laughs> I love Gallop so much. You guys are just sleeping, right? Yeah, you are. Huh, sleeping. He's also probably sleeping. Let's just get on the ship. This does not look like a ship that can be... Uh, ...operated... ...with only three people. Yo! <laughs> Yo ho ho and stuff! Time to cast off! Well, cast off means start sailing, kid. I know that. The wheel won't even budge. How do you work this thing? Try working anything and they'll be... They'll be the devil to pay. Trying to steal my ship, are you? You have a lot of brass. Or mayhap you're just lacking in brains. I'd wager it's the latter. Wait! I am Princess Lena of Tycoon. Please accept my apologies for attempting to commandeer your ship. What? Princess of Tycoon! I hope I can remember these voices the entire playthrough. Sir, this is a formal request from the Kingdom of Tycoon. Please allow us to use your vessel. I must get to the Wind Shrine. My father is in danger. Oh, the Princess of Tycoon here on my ship. I'm sure we could fetch a good price for this one. Hey, leave her alone, you degenerate, lecherous, piratey pirate. Damn. Lots with the fighting words. I beg of you, please. That pendant.
toss the lot of them into the brig. I, I can't. I can't wait to say, toss toss someone in the brig. When we play Coriolis, I don't think our ship will even have a brick. Toss them into the slightly less uh, comfortable passengers' cabin <laughs> and lock the door. <laughs> Captain, the door can't be locked. Well, just I don't know. Just put a chair in front of it. I don't care. Just get him away. Well, this is a fine. How do you do? What genius came up with the idea to steal a pirate ship anyway? Look in the mirror, Pops. This game's attempt that humor is... hit and miss, by the way. Oh, my aching head. Can't remember a thing. And your amnesia also conveniently... I can't say the word conveniently. Oh, so conveniently. Oh, yeah, it, it wasn't shh. It was... Still, I can't believe you're really the Princess of Tycoon, Lena. I'm sorry, I didn't intend to keep it a secret. It's not that big a deal. It kinda is, though. <laughs> but if you're the princess, why were you going to the Wind Shrine all alone? My father is there. He hadn't been gone long when the wind slowed down to almost nothing. I just can't shake the feeling that something terrible is happening. I slipped out alone to head to the Wind Shrine. But then that meteorite fell and... you know the rest. Well... Looks like we're going to starve here, boys. Why does the Princess of Tycoon have the same pendant as I do? She said her father's at the Wind Shrine. I mean, it's not literally the same, it's just... You know. Prepare to cast off, lads! Set a course for the Wind Shrine. How did we... How did we jump up out of the cell in our row? Still, still in the ropes. Never mind. But Captain, what about the landlubbers? Untie him. I meant sometime today. Oh yes, oh, sorry, yes Captain. Everyone needs to do their squats. As is celebration for being untied. But why? I reconsidered your request. You can go back into the brig if you'd rather. Pull anchor! We sail for the wind shrine. Hey! Something wrong with your ears? I hope I don't have to repeat myself. Well? I... I, I Captain! The gang's all here! That was an old Spongebob reference. I hope people still get that. <laughs> You're confused about little game? He's in the game, yet he isn't. I mean, the character does look different. This is the first Final Fantasy where you absolutely love the music. I think I love- I mean, I do love the music of 3. But... This, for me... Is... I mean, just the game in general. Uh, but also the music is a step up from Final Fantasy 4 for me. Except the boss fight music. The boss fight theme in Final Fantasy 4 is amazing. But the wind stopped. How can the ship move? Full of curiosity, aren't ya, lass? Sildra! Come up and say hello! Aww! Look at her! Aww, Sildra. 
beautiful, isn't she? Sidra and I were raised together. We we're as close as siblings. One knot's all enough. All right, we're off. Oh, I can. I thought that was like automatically putting me somewhere. Like I could actually control the ship. Captain, show a sailor to the windshine for you. Oh, that's what I meant. Yes, please. I have no clue where it is. It's been a while, and I only played this game once. There it is. Look at our wonderful party. Um. Wait, what do you come with, Ferris? Dagger and shield. Oh, you can. I was about to say, can you not change the role in this game? I was so sure you couldn't. But you can. Just not really necessary in the beginning. It's also safe here. But yeah, the game- uh, the music in this game is really good. This game in general is just really good. Princess Lena! What's happened? What's the matter? The wind suddenly stopped. And now there are monsters in the shrine. <laughs> Looks like she's doing- Like she's doing this. It's like- Whoa, dude! What about father? The king went up to the top floor. He has yet to return. Something must have happened to him. Nice, dude. That's how you... That's really encouraging. The crystal's up on the top floor, right? Weren't her to go up and take a look. Ferris, come on! King Tycoon went up to the top floor to check on the crystal, but... Oh no. The crystal upstairs is controlled by a machine that amplifies its power. The crystal amplification machine suddenly stopped responding. Princess, please take these with you. Noise! Drink this water to restore your energy. Don't mind if I do. Just... Get a giant straw, like, freaking sangria bucket. Gotta call it today? Alright, Black Wizards. See you soon, man. Thanks for dropping in. Also, uh, I guess see you Saturday when we play Heroes. Looking forward to that. Well, that snake just died. It is a real shame that... Okay, well, I'm not even from the US, so I didn't get any Final Fantasy game till, uh... Um... Till 7. But it is a damn shame that, like, the West... The... Like, two of the games the West didn't get from this series until later are two of my favorite, at least from the Final Fantasies I've already played, which is 1, 2, 6. 3 and 5. I love these games so much. Oh, hello. This is considered a circle. It... It, it, it is a circle. You may rest safely in the tent or cottage, or even save your game. I will do that.
Where do I get to the treasure? I guess this is treasure and that is boss fight town. I guess I chose wrong. <laughs> One thing I love about this game, by the way, yeah, I chose wrong. I can immediately see the treasure chest that I'm missing. One of the things I really love about this game, um, especially compared to Final Fantasy IV, is that you pretty much always have these characters. Like, you get them in the first half hour of the game and this is your party. You don't switch characters the entire time, like in Final Fantasy IV. In 6, you have so many options, but it's kind of like, pick your favorites. Because... Except for like some parts, the game does not force you to pick a specific combo, but in, in Final Fantasy IV, you have no control over it. In this game, you just have... Bart's Lena Gala Ferris. Which makes sense, um, because otherwise the job system wouldn't really work if you could, like, switch characters the entire time. Ooh, another leather cap. Let's give that to Ferris. I have not yet decided, by the way, how to build these characters. <laughs> I feel like the classic and easy thing to do would be to, like, make Bards a knight, make Lena the white mage, make Galaf the black mage, and make Ferris, like, dexterity-focused fighter or... Like bow back row, uh, I I don't I don't like that. I don't like that distribution. You know that's very cliche. So maybe Lena is going to be my fighter. That would be pretty cool. I don't even remember what jobs you get in the beginning. All wizards, no. Wait, did I go? Did I go in here? Did I just skip this? Oh, there's nothing in there, huh? Well done. Oh, hello. A broadsword. Galaf can finally get a freaking weapon. Hello. Incoming! The Wing Raptor. Oh, hey, Galif. You know, probably should have. Probably should have healed. There you go.
This game, I remember this game being fairly difficult, by the way. And this time, I know I said this uh, a few times. Uh oh. Yeah, goodbye, Ferris. Wait, Lena didn't attack. I do want to do the super bosses this time, which I didn't do last time. So there will be a point where I probably, hey, if I time it poorly, I have to end the stream early because... Or maybe not end the stream early, but just show grinding on stream and then end the stream and freaking grind for like an entire week. There you go. Nice, Phoenix down. The wind crystal. <gasps> yeah, a burb! The crystal! It's shattered. What the? Courage, the essence of flame. A crucial. <laughs> yeah. I remember this game, like, in general, being really tough, Headshot. You could definitely tell that it was a Japan-only release, because... Devotion, the essence of water. This is, uh, from that era where Square definitely still thought that Western gamers would be too stupid to handle RPGs. Which means that the Western release, especially for Final Fantasy IV, was pretty downplayed in uh, difficulty. Hope. The essence of Earth. And I think even Final Fantasy VI had some, like, tweaks for the US release. Passion. The essence of flame. Wait, didn't we already have flame? This should be wind. Because that's the wind crystal. Well then. Good thing that this is the official GBA translation. <laughs> official Square Enix release. What? What's happening? Feels warm. Are these the crystal's essences? Lena. Or maybe he was doing like the 2006 French meme, Luna. Father! Listen and listen well. You are the chosen ones, the warriors of light, bearers of the four crystal essences. Father, what do you mean? The wind crystal has already shattered. The other three crystals are in danger as well. You four must protect them. An evil presence is awakening. One that wishes to return everything to darkness. Well. Father! <laughs> Go forth, light warriors. Save the crystals. Wait, no, father! <gasps> He's gone. Ooh, some shinies, though. But what are these? Guess they're pieces of the crystal. Ah, my chest! They're going into my chest! Like freaking alien babies! Crystal fragments. And stored within the power of warriors of legend. Knight, monk, Blue mage, thief, black mage, and white mage. 
We got jobs! The word jobs always sounds so mundane when it's like, oh, the crystal and the magic essence of the legendary warriors within it. Yes! I'm finally not unemployed anymore. I mean, in this translation, the... <laughs> the basic class that they are all right now is literally called Freelancer. <laughs> the crystal. It's lending us its power. For now, let's get out of here! Damn, so silent. Lena. If I remember correctly, there should be a warp panel to the outside behind the altar. Yes, give me some jobs! Now what do we do with these characters? Hey, Boko. Boko is here to explain jobs to me. I already understand how it works. Thank you so much, Boko. Have a great day. You too. Okay. Obviously, we all we have freelancer. We have knight, we have monk, we have thief, we have white mage, black mage, and blue mage. I didn't use blue mage at all last time. It's a job you really have to farm up. It's not easy to do. So I kind of want to do blue mage this time, you know? I think the first ability, basically how this works and what Boko would have told us is if I hadn't been so rude to uh, send him off. It's not just as it was in Final Fantasy 3, where you decide on jobs and then you just level that job and you become better at it. And you can switch to a different job to get different abilities. When you level up a job in this game, you get abilities. Some of them passive, some of them active. And while you are that job, you have, you usually have, like, certain abilities. Um, um, but you have, like, ability slots and you can slot in abilities from other jobs that you've leveled high enough. So I could, as, a, as an example, I could make Bards a white mage, level up until I get the ability cast white magic. And then I can make him a knight and slot into one of his ability slots the ability to cast white magic. And that change alone makes a huge difference in how you play this game. You can do so much like mix and matching the different jobs and abilities together. It's so cool. I didn't say I wasn't looking forward to grinding. I like grinding. Um, I just said that I... Uh, definitely need to do some grinding if I uh, if I want to do the super bosses and I don't particularly like grinding on stream I do it I do it for a stream or like for one stream and we did even a little bit more in Final Fantasy 2 but I don't like just having so many streams to grind as uh, streams where we just grind for like the entire time that's my gripe but I actually really like grinding I would love and I've said this on pretty much every single uh, Final Fantasy we've played. I would love like a dungeon crawl slash roguelike. That is just this. It's just randomly generated dungeons. You generate a four people party at the beginning. Uh, you unlock different jobs for them. Just have the Final Fantasy V job system. And you have a classic turn-based fighting, fighting system. And you would just go deeper and deeper into every dungeon and uh, just fight your way through like classical RPG monsters and develop your characters and you can play it pretty much forever. Ever heard of Secret of Grindia? 
Yeah, I think we talked about that before. It's not really what I mean by that. Oh, I haven't played it myself, though. So what do we make this guy? I kind of want to do Blue Mage. Also, he looks cool in the superhero outfit. I don't want to make Lena my white mage. That's a stereotype that I do not want to... That I do not want to follow. Maybe Monk. She looks pretty cool as a Monk. I should get white mages and black mages though. Plus one for Lena Monk. Eh, uh, that doesn't look right. <laughs> oh, we can... We White Mage Gallop looks pretty cool. Okay, let's let's make some... Let's make nails with hats. I don't even know if you say that in English. Lena's a monk now. Also, really nice. You don't have to take off the entire equipment to change jobs. Take notes, Final Fantasy 3. I love you, but that was tedious. And you can just hit the optimum button after switching a job, and out of the non-equipped equipment you have, it will just pull the um, the optimum for that character and that job. Which obviously for Monk is uh, no weapons, so. Let's make Gal of the, the White Mage. He looks cool in the robe. Netflix is bringing back He-Man? Like as an animated series? Like, I feel like the cliche, stereotypical decision would be to make Ferris a thief. But I'm considering Knight or Black Mage. I, I, I feel like I need to have a Black Mage. Looks good, too. Ooh. I, will, I mean, I didn't really anticipate it, but I love E-Man. I mean, not love, but I liked E-Man. Always flinching at the hair. Let's make Ferris a Black Mage. And... Let's make Bards a blue mage until we learn... Learn. <laughs> until we learn the ability to learn abilities from monsters. Because once you have that ability, there's really no reason to... Be a blue mage until you have enough stuff for him to do. And then we can make him a knight for a little bit. Let's do that. The he anime. Um, also... Put you both in the back, and they're safe. And also, let's, you know, save for real. The only thing with the mouse, um, with my new mouse, this is the first time that I have a wireless mouse. I know, welcome to the future, idiot. Um, but I'm not used to my mouse, like, going to sleep when I don't touch it for like a few minutes, so I'm always in the beginning, like, where's my mouse? Oh right, now it's moving again. Herman Monster's House of a Thousand Corpses. Ew. We cannot go here yet, right? Yeah, the channel is, or canal is done, so check out where we can go. We can go here. Oh, right, Tula. Actually, let's maybe do like a fight with our newfound abilities and classes. No, not the bees. <laughs> The blue mage, it just looked like a weird-ass superhero. 
You know what it looks like? What 100%? Bart in the blue mage costume looks like a member from the band Grail Knights. Let's maybe get a level with everyone or so. Some good, good fashioned early game grinding. I mean, except for like the shoulder pads. It, this is like the exact style of costume that the Grail Knights are wearing. Fantastic band, by the way, if you haven't uh, listened to any of their stuff, I can only, I can highly recommend them. Like somewhat small uh, German metal band. Great sense of humor, great songs. The last album was amazing. I listen to it very regularly. Nowadays, mostly on my way to work. I just put my headphones on and ride my bike and listen to Grey Knight to lift my mood before I get to work. Okay, there are too many bees for my liking and they look too scary to me. Let's go into town after this fight. Sometimes a remake of stuff you're very nostalgic for can be cool, but a lot of times there's just so such high expectations that can never be met that it's better not even to attempt it. Like recently I thought to myself, do I want a remake of Morrowind? Because Morrowind's mechanics, like especially the combat mechanic, are very outdated, and they were outdated even when that game released. But I don't want a remake of Morrowind. Because I'm pretty sure they would change things in a way that I wouldn't like. On the other hand, and that's the thing that you can always keep in mind, <laughs> unless the company is called Activision Blizzard, um, when a remake of something is introduced, it doesn't kill off the original material. You can still go back and watch, listen to, or play the old version. If it's Blizzard, though, uh... Well, fuck you, I guess. I mean... That's why I don't buy Blizzard games. That's why I haven't bought a Blizzard game since, like, 20 L 2011. Rock, 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 rock! Rock, 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 rock! Rock! Think I'll stop in and have a drink as well. No, my black mage. You look a little wet behind the ears. Yo. How's about I take her to the Greenhorns Club? That sounds inappropriate, sir. Please never talk to me again. <laughs> You'll be back. That makes it even worse. I'm training to be a bard. Listen to this. Long, long ago, in the canal to the east, canal to the east, I always say that wrong. A big old ugly monster was having a feast. It ate lots of people, 53 at least, but the good guys used the crystal and sealed the beast. Oh yeah! My granddad says he's sorry he told me the story, but you guys liked it, right? A solid C plus from me. <laughs> what the fuck? Kinda seems like the wind dies winds died down some, don't you think? Let's get some weapons. Sir? Oh. <laughs> I, I love that, that even though Ferris is... Um... At the... At the tavern. 
When you enter a shop, it's just like, hey, don't forget about me. And the game basically just says, hey, don't forget we have another character. So you can buy stuff for every single one. Also, it shows you, again, very nice, who can equip what. So a rod for Ferris. And a staff for Galif. And bye. Don't go away, Ferris. I'm going into the freaking armor shop next. There's no need to leave. Zombie doing the monsters got confirmed. See? You're back now. Oh, there's no reason to leave. I actually have to check who has what. No, no, don't. No, oh, okay. Fine. Bart has everything. Leather needs a head. Oh, I, I guess, yeah, a head. Galif needs one. And the second cap that I got, I gave... Ferris, so Ferris also has everything. Okay, I need two leather caps. Nice. One more defense. 100% worth the effort. Oh, that's the freaking uh, Weenie Hut Junior. What, what what did you call it? Greenhorns Club. Great snakes. The pub's been overrun by pirates. The wind crystal's power is amplified by a machine. It lets our ships sail even faster than before. The next liner from Walls. Walls? Walls. Really should be arriving any time now. <laughs> I don't know, that's legitimately the first thing that I, uh, that I thought of, Business Watcher. <laughs> the Weenie Hut Junior. <laughs> that's also a Spongebob reference. I should watch Spongebob again. Ooh, some money in a barrel. Huh? A meteorite fell by Castle Tycoon? One fell in the mountains to the west, too. Guess they're in season. <laughs> Weenie Hut General. Do I need- I probably should rest, yeah. Also some potions. And one more tent, why not? If you say- if you have a character in your game that's an innkeeper, and when you- go to bed when you when you take him up on his services and he says good night sweet dreams and there are three dots after the sweet dreams it seems like he will murder you please keep that in mind when you write dialogue his halloween was pretty bad i heard um his first halloween was actually okay it was only when he did the uh, the second movie that I felt like it was getting pretty terrible. If you take the canal eastward, you get to the Kingdom of Walls. Walls has prospered by using the water crystal. Oh, right! Obviously, there's a maid shop, the, the magic shop that I didn't think about. Oh, I don't have, like, any money now. I need cure. I need poisoner. I guess that's anti-poison. And now I don't have money for black magic. I'll be back. I'll buy w I buy at least one black magic spell. I can't have a like Ferris not cast like any black magic. Oh, trying to leave me the slip? I think not. No, dude. We're just grinding for you. 
Also put on your rod. To be fair, I haven't watched, uh... Nutkin! Your stuff. Did I not say stuff? Also freaking Nutkin. <laughs> Look at this happy fat goober. Your rod? Ah, yeah. I mean, it is a rod. Also, I don't know if they can spawn here, but I know they destroyed me. The first time I played this game. They are like gray. Somewhere in this world where I didn't expect them at all. They are gray squirrels. That just rip you a new bum hole. Also, now I'm getting attacked by bees again. I like our party composition so far. Mr. Slave and Lemmy Wings. I should also play the the South Park RPGs again. It's been very long. Okay, yeah. You 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 leave again. While I buy magic for you. You want to watch me play them? I have to check if I still have... Um... Let's just go with fire for now. And get the rest in the next town. Um... I, I have to check if I even still have stick of, stick of truth somewhere. I remember liking the combat, the like, classic combat of Stick of Truth more. But the entire rest of Fractured Butthole is way better. It's a very fun game. Also, I swear to god that because everyone, including myself, complained that Stick of Truth was so short. Um, Fractured Butthole has like... Seven points where you think, okay, now it's ending. Okay, now it's ending. Okay, now it's ending. Okay, now it's ending. And still goes on. Ooh. I'm just stealing everything from these guys. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that... Th 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this... Th oh my god, please. I'm pretty sure that this is Zark's house. That this is Zark's house. My god. Someone you know. Yeah, he built the Tarna Canal. By himself? Pretty impressive. Oh, Princess Lena! Zark, it's good to see you. Yes, it's been a long time. Zark, I have a favor to ask. We must go to Waltz, so we need to pass through the Tarna Canal. Oh dear. Ever since the Wind Crystal was destroyed, the beasts in the canal have multiplied like rabbits. It's been like... a day. And did they just... okay, well... I guess they were just monster orgies in the canal. This guy knows. Well then. It is much too dangerous to enter. Moreover, I seem to have lost the key to the canal somewhere. 
I still say I oh I said channel again. I want to say because I know this word as channel, like the English channel. So I want to say channel, but it's canal. I'm sorry, I cannot help you with the key. Still, since you've come all this way, won't you at least stay the night? I already paid for a room in the inn, so sorry, man. Or I guess we're doing it, yeah, okay. Oh my god, he was very happy about that. Wonderful, man, follow me. Ooh, creepy. Time to go take a midnight pee. A feeling I know very well, believe it or not. I... Oh, full on honestly, he's just going out to piss in this stream. No one can convince me otherwise. The crystals. Now that I think of it, they are the reason dead. <gasps> Backstory. The crystals must be protected at any cost. Stella, if anything should happen to me, never tell Bards about the crystals. They aren't his burden to bear. Oh, darling, please don't say things like that. No little bards. Hope nobody will brew beer tomorrow. What? <laughs> Was there something I don't understand? Well, also time to have a midnight drink, I guess. Sir? Sir? That's not okay. Can you please stop staring at the young girl sleeping? Father, I protect the crystals. Promise. Could you please thank you? Oh, uh, bars. I mean, I should have been surprised when the bed was empty, but I... You know, I was just... Well, see you tomorrow, Bart. <laughs> I, still don't, I still don't get that, Sebi. I still don't get the brewing beer tomorrow. I, I don't need to get it. What's the matter, Bart? I changed voices. Nothing. I just was reminded of my folks. They died a while back, though. Here, take it. Huh? Take what? The key to the canal. With it, you can open the gate and travel to Waltz. It was forbidden to piss into the lake or wash clothes? When the next week was the week to brew beer, it's from the Middle Ages. What? I mean, it does make sense. It does make sense. It's a good rule. I was worried about Lena, so I hit the key, but... No, I didn't know that. That's the first time I've heard, I've, I've heard of it. Please, take care of her. Probably shouldn't brew beer with your piss laundry water, ew. Well, I don't know everything, Sammy. Tastes like sweat and soap. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to say. I wanted to, like, dispute that. As if I ever tasted beer that was made with, with piss laundry water. 
I was like so ready to go into it and just go against that, but I, I stopped myself. Oh. Uh. However, some like bad beer really... Have I had a Corona? That's basically piss beer. I did have a Corona. By that I mean the beer, not the virus. And I despise it. Kölsch is so... I don't understand why people drink it. Really, really, realistically. And I'm even like... When I was younger, I drank a lot of Kölsch because... I had like, it was like a one hour drive to Cologne. So I went there with friends several times to go to like the breweries, which have like bars slash restaurants attached to them where you can drink what they brewed like immediately from, almost like from the tap. Um, it's just... Like, very slightly carbonated yellow water that gets you drunk very slowly. And you drink it in like... Uh, 0, 0.0 liter glasses. Like, pitikins? I think what they're, call what they're called? It's been a while. I'm, I'm not a true... Uh... I'm not a boy from the River Rhine anymore. I've assimilated to Northern Germany. Um, but one thing that happened one time is you have these very small glasses that are only like this. And you can like easily chug them. It's basically just a double shot on I mean, It's a little bit more than a double shot, but you get, you get the gist. Um, it's not like a real... Uh, it's not a real amount of beer that should have happened. But a friend of mine had to like... Uh, vomit one time and it was so crowded in that brewery bar that he couldn't get to the toilet and he just we had like 17 empty glasses like of these small glasses on our table and he just went whoop, 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 and threw up in like six of them and he didn't like Nothing went on the table. That's like... That's like 13 years ago at this point. That's crazy. Please. Lady, let me leave. Captain, wait up! Sorry, lads. I'm leaving you laggards behind. Cap! But why? You know we'd follow you to the ends of this. Oh, 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 I can't do that accent. I know, and I thank you for it. But not this time. Cap! This smells of a long journey. While I'm gone, I need you lots to guard the hideout. We can't just let anyone raid our booty. But Cap, please. No, Cap. We're trying to tell you. Without the boat, how the fuck are we going to get back to the hideout? <laughs> Winner, dear Captain. A uh, win at your back, Captain. Godspeed. You go raid some booty right away. Noise. Okay, let's save. I don't think I will go much longer. We can check out the canal, though. Like, this is where the game really gets going. And then we, today we have basically the intro to the game down. Okay. That had to go. Lena, what's wrong? The wind crystal has shattered. Right now the only difference is that the wind has slowed. But soon it will stop blowing completely. 
And in a few years, the air will grow stagnant. And the birds won't have any place to fly. I feel like that, you know, doesn't have anything to do with like stagnant air. Like, being it being relatively slow already should fuck up a lot of birds already. Father said that we had to protect the three remaining crystals. I'm not a birdologist, though. Three crystals? Yes, the crystals of fire, water, and earth. If those were lost too, then... At first, nothing would happen. But it wouldn't be long before the earth began to decay. The seas dirtied and rivers ceased to flow. Fires lost their heat, and the world became cold and dark. It really would become an unlivable world. <gasps> we gotta protect the crystals! Huh? Did that trigger any of your memories? <laughs> nope! Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna help. Well said, old man. I'm coming along too. Plus, we still have to find Lena's father. King Tycoon? But he disappeared into thin air. I mean, he already kinda looked like a ghost anyway, so... He still lives, I feel it in my bones. Never for a moment would I believe otherwise. Bards, will you come with us? Before I was just coming along for the ride, seeing everyone else. The crystal shards. We were giving power to protect the world. The power of the wind crystal. That's it. I'm in. We've got some crystals to save. Sure enough! Let's be off. Whee! We oh, there it is. We <laughs> we. I guess we just we went so close to these ginormous doors that Bart's could walk to the conveniently placed like. On at one ship height keyhole and turn the key and open the freaking gate. Bart! Where in Tarnation? Where in Tarnation did you get the key? I can't do a southern accent. I just was reminded by the word Tarnation. Does it matter? Let's get going. I mean, it matters a little bit, right? <laughs> did you kill that old poor old man? <laughs> Took the freaking key from his cold, lifeless hands? Sucker! Oh, and Octo Krakens. Oh, I guess the th the one in the back is the Octo Kraken. <laughs> Fucking suckers. Goodbye, Octokraken. You have to wait one more game until you get personality. Let's do a little bit of cure action, that's why we have a white mage. Yay! Oh, and we can also maybe do some fire, that is probably not really good against these guys. I really like the um, spell animations in this game. 
eight arms. I mean, it, he does have Octo in his name. Oh, we got Check. Oh, Check's the first one, okay. Now, you see, now we're getting the abilities. Because we've been using these jobs for a while. Now... Uh... They're like unique abilities for most jobs for the for white mage, black mage, and summoner. Uh, you just basically get the ability to cast. You only get one ability, I think, which is white magic, black magic, or summoning magic. And the higher you get that job, um, the higher the level of magic that you can cast with the ability when you use it on another class. Yeah, black level one. So right now I could make Galif a different class and give him the uh, white magic level one ability and he could cast white magic on level one even though he's not a white mage anymore. Check in with HP. Sure, why not? Did Lena get anything? Lena didn't get jack shit yet. Oh right, she's level one, uh, level zero still, monk level zero. But obviously you can see you have the ability slot and uh, some classes have two ability slots. I think only the freelancer though. Um, all of the other jobs have one ability slot and right now for like Galif, it wouldn't make sense to give him white magic because you also still have your ability that you get for just being that job which is already the same thing which means sooner or later I should make uh, probably make Galov and Ferris a different class to give them like a passive ability to use in the end I will probably make them both summoners so that one can have um, like the black magic skill and summoning skill and the other can have white magic and summoning because uh, summoning is just so useful it's you should have two people I feel like having two people in the uh, in the group that can summon Bahamut is a really big deal. I mean, you saw it when we uh, finished Final Fantasy IV. Bahamut was basically the MVP of that entire game. He was... Bahamut was the hero. We were just running along with him. Hey, what's that? Oh no! The sealed monster. Thundering typhoons! The radar's not responding! You'd better figure something out first, because we're getting sucked in! We. Yeah, panic! <clears throat> Sildra, what's wrong? Look alive, something's coming. They're Carl Labus. It's a it's a super lobster. Yeah, it's Carl Abose, actually. Dr. Carl Abose for you. Let's do the little checky check. Oh my god. Still 500 HP, huh? Let's maybe heal up.
I mean, I do like the boss music in this game as well, but it's not the boss theme from Final Fantasy IV, which was amazing. But other than that, I really love the music in this game. I mean, the boss theme is fine as well, you just have the immediate comparison with the boss theme from Final Fantasy IV, which is one of the best in the entire series. So it's not really that fair towards Final Fantasy V. Don't tentacle Ferris! <laughs> nice four damage. Saying that that is one of the best themes in the series isn't fair to Final Fantasy VIII. I, I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII yet, you know that. <laughs> Every time I'm speaking about the series so far for me, it's 1 to 6. Because I don't remember like any details about Final Fantasy VII. It's been, it's definitely been too long for that. Didn't the first US translation call him Karl Boss? I don't know. I mean, this is, I think, the first official English translation. This is the GBA translation ripped from the GBA release of the game um, and put into the Super Nintendo game, the Super Nintendo version. There was beforehand at least one very popular fan translation when the Super Nintendo emulation scene was at its peak, like the, like, 96, 97. And that had some weird translation. That's the one that calls Bard's Butts. But I never played that myself, so I don't know if that boss is called Karl Boss. It would be funny, though. Oh, then I gained a job level and she gained focus. Nice. Also, that lobster had a tent. Ah, Sildra! The Butts translation called him Karl Boss. I, there are people who still defend this translation as being superior to the official translation. How? <laughs> how, how do you defend that? Sildra! I'm sure she's okay. She's a fighter, and you know it. Sildra! Let me go! I said get off! Sildra! I thought it was Hugo Boss. I didn't know that Hugo Boss was a lobster. Maybe his father. Sildra! In my first playthrough of this game, I remember by being pissed that Sildra's gone. How's Ferris? As well as can be expected, we should leave him be. The ship is just drifting with the current. Wonder where we'll end up? Ferris, Sildra is... Surely Sildra is still out there, alive somewhere. Well... Just chugging along with the current.
Were we sleeping on deck? What were we doing? <laughs> Where is this? The graveyard of the sea. A gathering place for ruined and scuttled ships. And a nest for the undead. Urgh. All the more reason to hot foot it out of here. But do we have some supplies? Are you telling me there's there are no freaking supplies? In oh, hello. Yeah, thank you. Why, why is Gallop the one who gets the bet? He he needs it the most. He definitely does. Okay, at least you can sleep for free there. I mean, Gallop can sleep for free. The rest has to fucking sit at the table. Can it go through here somewhere? Nope. Cal Cruthals. Also, those skeletons are wearing crop tops. You cannot convince convince me otherwise. Yeah, Lena, punch that ghost. <laughs> they just want to want to show their midriffs. Yeah, they're very proud of the work that they did. I mean, look how how much weight they lost. some potions. No, not two, you idiot! Mm. Well. Oh, I remember this. This is where you get the world map. This is why you don't have a map before in the game, because you literally don't have a physical map. And this one skeleton is guarding it. What an asshole. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, is it not? I thought so. Wait, I... Oh, I was so proud that I remembered that, but apparently I remembered wrongly. I don't actually remember how the map works in this game. So far, the only good Final Fantasy game out of the first four that had a good map was Final Fantasy 1. That was the only game. Do we have to go this way? We'll get soaked. What, are you going to melt or something? Come on. Also some... not treasure. We can go across there, right? Yeah, we can. Woo! Pirate chest with some money. <laughs> nice! Oh my god, just fire those skeleton.
Hmm. Let's check down here first then. Don't care. Goodbye, skeletons. I don't know why I can cast fire on them underwater, but you know, who even cares at this point? Actually, maybe this is the way to go. What is. Oh! Oh! Okay. Look at that fucking anime design. That's a head. With its own face being ripped off. Both of them impaled by like a demonic tongue. What the fuck? It does look really cool, Sammy, I agree. Also, this is the first game that introduced Thornberry. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting... Uh, to meeting Thornberry. Maybe being looking forward to is the wrong word, because I'm afraid of Thornberry. But it is a great design. There we go. Oh, wait. Oh, actually, let's keep going. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, I guess I missed some... some treasure, but it's fine. I'm soaked. Ow, there's a fish in my shorts. This room seems safe enough. Let's take a rest. I have to sneeze. Maybe not. Alright, Headshot. See you soon, man. Have a good night's sleep. I'm going to change into dry clothes. No peeking! <clears throat> okay, time to get dry. I'm fine like this. Don't worry about me. Are you crazy, boy? You catch pneumonia and those wet things. Hey, what are you doing? Get away! Don't touch! <gasps> What's all the commotion? Lena, this, he. Oh, my stars and comets. He's a she! <gasps> this is the dumbest thing in this entire game. <laughs> I hated this so much when I played this game for the first time. Because... When I saw the sprite, I was anyway like, oh yeah, that's a girl. Okay. So what? <laughs> I don't really like this plot point. Thankfully, it's over quickly. Well, maybe I am. You got a problem with it? <laughs> Bad shot. Of course not. Just, why were you trying to hide it? When I was just a lad, er, lass, a pirate band took me in. I've been one of them ever since. Yeah, so? Well, would you want to be the only girl in a ship full of pirates? 
They took you in when you were a little girl. They knew you were a girl. Ah, oh, right, yeah. The raping, right? That, that's a big of a bummer. How? I knew from the start that you were too pretty to be a man. Nice safe, Galuf. Always a good idea. Anyhow, make fun of me for really being a woman and I'll shiver your timbers for good. Um, okay. That's right, it's okay. Now I'm turning in, and you lots had best to do the same. Very lucky that we have four beds in here. <laughs> Gallop. In that instance, Gallop's absolutely me because when it's so warm, I also absolutely sleep above the covers. Ah, slept like a log. Rise and shine, Dillard. Time's a wasting. Hey, old man, that's enough lollygagging from the likes of you. On your feet. Let's go. Ah. Uh. If you aren't gonna dress like a girl, and you should, a real shame to hide such assets. Wow! Wow! Uh. Cancel Gallop. You could at least talk like one. No point in trying to change her. Ferris is who she is. That's for certain. Something in this room? I forgot. Oh yeah, a save point. Actually, really important. Okay, at least we got that out of the way. That stupid plot point that no one likes. Uh, I'm definitely feeling... Uh, very tired. Um, feeling my energy slip away from me a little bit. I'm going to have somewhat of an exhausted day at work tomorrow. So I'm going to end the stream here. We got some decent things done. Um, finished A Link to the Past. And pretty much kickstarted Final Fantasy V. I feel like the, the intro part of this game is now done. When we leave this ship cemetery. Um, yeah. I love that we are playing this game together, by the way. This was one of the coolest experiences um, when playing through the Final Fantasy games, the first six for the first time. This really hit me and tickled my, uh, my, like, the, the part of my, of my gaming bone. Oh, how do I get out of this me metaphor? Um, like, the part of me that really likes game mechanics. This hit me so much. I mean, I love Final Fantasy... Sorry, hit the mic. Um, I love Final Fantasy 3. You know how much I love Final Fantasy 3. This has so much more nuance in the job system that it's... It's so good. The boner of my gaming heart. Ew. I mean, kinda. Uh, yeah. Really looking forward to playing this again. On Sunday, we'll play more Kami. On Monday, after work, we'll play more Mass Effect. Really looking forward to both of those. Thank you all so much for being here. Let me save again because I am a pussy. Get out of here, Final Fantasy V. Thank you all so much for being here, for spending the evening with me. Really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Hopefully see you Sunday. Stay safe, everyone. Stay healthy. And see you soon.